Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick video today. Um, I've not really done anything for a while in my own loft, so um, I've started breeding again. I just thought I'd give you guys an update uh, so you can see how I'm getting on. Um, I've got eight pairs in here, but uh, one pair still yet to lay. So I'll just go over the pairs and just show you what's what and how I'm getting on. Um, right, okay, so starting at the top, uh, that's a mason pair. These are young birds, actually. Got like a racer type blue, blue bar. Lovely hen. Um, I had this flying in my young bird kit. It was doing really well, so I thought I'd pair it up. I have paired it up with this cock here. That red at the back and he is the son of this cock so this cock here this has produced me quite a few good birds so what I've done is I've, I'm just cutting I've got a couple of I think three or four pairs that are related just to this cock here so you've got um, his son up there where he's gone here he is and then I've also got another son of his which is that bird there that's the sun that's another sun and then I think I've got one daughter of this too in here somewhere so I am some of my focus is around this bird here he's produced me some great young birds so I thought I'd give his um, his his line of birds a try and uh, see how I'll get on with them there's a mason bird I think it's 2015 cock I had him from uh, Trevor Slater and uh, last year I bred quite a few young from him three of them turned out really good what I've done is I've paired him to a really good red hen that I had it's a yearling hen I'll show you in just a moment and um, I did I did breed her from last year as well this this pair but I lost both young birds so I thought I'd give them another go and see if they can if they can produce for me his hen is this one here. Uh, where's she gone? Yeah, this hen here. So I've paired him. I've paired him up with this hen. I've watched this hen for two years. Uh, she's always been good. Probably about 34, tight, fast. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed. They produce me some good young birds. Um, in the top one here, I have a John Walnuss bird actually. Uh, this has been loaned to me by a good friend as I had a really good hen that I needed a pop for this black and white one at the back. That was a really good hen. Came on quite well. Still a young bird, uh, but it came on really well and um, so I decided to pair him up and hopefully get some nice young birds from uh, these walnuts birds. Um, first, try, first time trying these birds out, so let's see how they do. Uh, here we have a red cock. This is a mason. You can see it's already hatched its eggs. And this is paired up to my favourite, one of my favourite hens, probably my favourite hen, this yellow hen here. I've had this one, uh, so I bred it here in my loft and it's always it's always been brilliant. Again, about 34, fast, tight spin. And I've bred some really good birds from it. In fact, I've actually got its daughter here that I stocked this year because that daughter was really good. And I've got another two young birds from this hen as well that have turned out really good. I've not really, I've not stocked them. I've, I'm still flying those two, but I have put one away, which is this little hen here. So this hen is the daughter of this cock and that hen. So that's my own little family going on there. Uh, mainly Mason though. So this hen was brilliant in the air. I decided to uh, put her in, give her a go, and hopefully she can produce some good birds as well. Uh, she's on two eggs, hopefully hatching quite soon. So yeah, she is paired up to, 
she's paired up to, let's have a look, she's paired up to this cock, I believe, yeah, that's a mason cock, that's actually from, again, uh, let's believe, that's the father, that's the father, that's the father to this cock, and that's the brother. So I've got two sons of this cock currently breeding. These are the sons. That's one son. And there's the other son. Down here, another mason. This is one that I've had from Trev Slater. This is paired up to a mason hen that I have here. Uh, this hen wasn't very deep. But I bred, I bred one round out of these two last year and uh, the young birds, I've only got one left actually, I only had two and I've got one left and that's turned out really good. So I thought I'd give them another go and hopefully they can produce some good birds again. So that hen is paired to this cock here. Then down here we have a mortal, lovely looking bird. Uh, I flew him as well, he was in my young bird team. Flew him for a good five, six months, turned out really good. Uh, decided to pair him up so he's a mason he come directly from George Mason actually he's uh, took him took him from George Mason and he is paired up to uh, where's his hen I believe it is this hen here and I think this hen, this hen is again related to that cock I think that's the daughter of this cock so it is sisters with the other two, with this one and that one. So quite a close knit fam family going on here. Um, all on eggs, apart from this one pair. Uh, they were young birds, they only laid the one egg, so I just got rid of that. So we're still waiting on that one. Still waiting on them to lay again. Oh, there's another that's hatched. Hopefully that second hatch hatches soon he's on two eggs looking forward to his young birds two eggs there two eggs in there two in there two in there so hopefully something comes soon um, what I'll also do is I'll just show you my kit boxes I'm not sure if I've shown them to you guys since they've been complete and I'll show you some of the birds that I've got in there but yeah, that's my breeding season started. I'm looking to breed probably about 40 birds. And um, let's see how, how we do in the competitions. I did I did fly the young bird in the young bird competition uh, for all England. And I placed about, I got 55 points, uh, some for quality, some for kitting, one break. First go at it, so I was quite happy, but hopefully I can do better next time. Um, yeah, I think I placed about, I think it was about 15th, so I wasn't too, I wasn't looking to uh, break any records or, you know, come first or anything in my first year, but I gave it a go and I'm going to keep giving it a go every year, hopefully, as long as I keep getting better, producing more quality birds, I'll be happy. But yeah, those are my eight pairs that are down now, and I'll just uh, show you my birds that I'm flying at the moment. So these are the boxes that I've made, four kit boxes, made all these myself. Um, I'll just quickly show you some of the birds. I think some of you guys must have seen these boxes in my previous videos. Uh, I've put the mesh floor, pull out drawers, box perches I've done in the end, a couple of other perches here as well. Um, I've got a couple of birds that, like these two tumblers or Polish owls I think they're called since last year I just use them as droppers just to help my young birds but um, yeah this is what I've got left then from uh, 2021 a lot of reds in there almost all masons there's a couple that ain't there's an older hen there really good hen that I bred two years ago I'm not trying to get rid of her or anything just uh, I haven't got anything to pair her with and I thought I'd concentrate more 
on the Mason family this year. So uh, these are all, uh, I think some of them have come directly from George. Some have come from birds that I've uh, bred from. Here's another mottled cock I had from uh, George Mason. I've not, I've not bred him yet. I just, I don't have the space and I've only got eight boxes in there and I've picked eight pairs. So he's good. He can wait a little while. He's ready to go, but he can wait a little while. So these, these are the birds that I'm flying every other day. Kind of calm down a little bit now because, because of the weather and because of the sparrow hawks and stuff. But there's some really good birds in here. one's turned out quite well around, I think it was around eight months old seven eight months old it's coming onto the road now doing quite well some more masons there this is from that yellow hen that I've got there this is this is her daughter really good bird and I've also got one more this one here that's from that yellow hen also I've not decided to put them away just yet. I'll breed up them. I'll give them a bit of time to see how they get on. They're both doing quite well. Both spinning well and kitting all the time. So maybe in the future I'll, I'll breed up them, but not just yet. So yeah, those are from these are the birds that I'm currently flying. Um, got quite a few empty boxes. This one at the bottom, it's all empty, got nothing in there. Just waiting for the young birds to come through again. Same here as well, empty box. And then here I've just got, I'll show you. Um, I've actually got a few hens here that I've, my friends just asked me to uh, look after for a little while. He, didn't, he couldn't separate his hens and cocks, so he just given me about five or six hens to just stick in here for a little while. And then also, uh, last time I was visiting uh, George, George Mason, he he actually gave me a couple of Les Byzance birds. Um, there's quite a few here that are Les Byzance birds. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. I'll probably just give them to my mate, and he'll uh, he'll breed from them. But I've just got them in here for now. There's these blues here. These are bred by George Mason, and they're Les Byzance birds. We've got these two blues, that's a George Mason in there as well. And that's a... Um, no, that's my mate. That's Les Bizant's in there. Another one there. I think those two as well. So we have one of those. That blue in the corner. So these are just a couple of hens that I've got. Uh, my friend will be breeding off most of these. So yeah, I've just put these away to the side. So yeah, guys, that's <clears throat> those are my birds. Not much left now. Just looking forward to next year. Uh, all you guys that watch my channel, thank you for thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for leaving your comments, your likes. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you all have a nice year. Hope you guys all breed some good spinners. And I look forward to uh, speaking to you guys next year. All the best.